This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Razil Kane. I'm back with another review and today I'm doing this. And funny enough, he's the guy on the picture. So I received the Toy Hacks decal, which is a huge set. Uh, I rarely did, I think Optimus Prime from Earthrise was probably the biggest set I've had because there's a trailer and everything. So this is six sheets of decals five sheets uh, but uh, it's five big sheets uh, for the trailer and you know the figure which is one of the most more impressive mold of uh, the 2022 I was really happy with uh, the transformation the fact that it wasn't the same thing as the earth rise with shoulder pads or you know a, a siege remold there's parts being you know used again but not many. Uh, transformation is quite unique. I was really happy with this uh, this toy. Uh, gift for my uh, girlfriend for Christmas. So we're gonna take a look at that. But before I do so, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm really proud of. And also check out uh, my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, fantastic online store where you can get anything you want at 10% off if you check out the code at the end of my video. And now let's roll the intro. tied up in that tunnel for a long time and when they finally get out they'll be nowhere near us we can help ourselves to all the energy here and they can't do a thing so straight out of the package scourge looks really good as is you have the clear uh, red i guess purple pink plastic anyway looks really good uh, the clear windows the light piping which is not easy to do with my setup but he looks really good. The legs, uh, plain black, gray, so hopefully some stuff to break that out. Uh, the backpack, well, that's gonna show more in uh, the vehicle mode, so. Uh, maybe something for the tanks, hopefully, I don't know. And then uh, the, uh, I didn't put it in the shot, but the, um, the trailer, uh, that's gonna get all chromed up. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, maybe there's something for the base mode. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised this uh, this whole set uh, it's big it says uh, you know one out of five two out of five here when you look at uh, the, uh, the decals it says here one out of five but there's actually six sheet because this sheet here uh, no uh, sorry this one here it just it's not labeled uh, six of five it says just symbol parts for legacy scourge so I guess that's if I want to do uh, the G2 or the RID logo or the Decepticon. I really don't know which one I'm gonna pick uh, I think I'll tr I'll look it up. I'll see you uh, images um, what logo they used uh, in the show and um, Pick the one that's more appropriate because I don't really need another Decepticon logo uh, And then he has all the other stuff I don't know where. Well, there's license plates. So you have Nemesis, Black Convoy, Scourge, and then Scourge again in the split. Oh, you have a split for Nemesis and a split for uh, Black Convoy. I am going to go with Scourge on all accounts because Black Convoy doesn't have any attachment to me. I, I, I don't, I didn't follow the Japanese. I know he's called the Convoy, while well, Optimus is called Convoy. and. Look at this, man. This is all these little details, all chromed up with, they look like, I don't know, pipes, fuel pipes. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to see when it's all installed. That's probably the base. There's a computer screen. There's two of them. Three more display. Yeah, that's probably the base mode. So that's going to be very interesting. And then you have these here. Oh. Well, this looks like a decal for a certain sword. Uh-huh, Toy Hacks rarely do decals for swords or any weapons, so that's cool. Uh, lots of little decals. Uh, I mean, these are half moons, like really, really tiny half moons. That's going to be hard to apply. This set is going to take a while. 
I guess, bin covers or headlights, maybe. I don't know. And then those are the chests, uh, the window decals, and probably I'm going to go with these uh, these clear ones. Not clear, but that purple ones. Yeah, more than likely that's what I'll pick. And this looks like uh, the Chrome 4D trailer. Uh, you can see how reflective that is, so appropriate. I like this set. I'm going to play that later. So now, final look at Scourge uh, before he goes to the paint shop. Leave Megatron alone! No problem. Here's a little something for you. Okay, so here I am, back from the paint shop. And man, is this a long set to apply. It took a while. But, um, you know, I have a couple decals left. Uh, these are, those four and those two are for the uh, truck mode. And I'll show what I chose instead. I went with the more cartoon accurate version of the uh, uh, robots in this guy scourge, and uh, it it turned out pretty good. Um, those are uh, the decals for here. Uh, so I got a couple extras. Uh, that was the faceplate. Something else. Uh, a couple pin covers. I honestly I'm missing three pin covers. Like I haven't found the three other pins. So. Maybe when I transform him again, I'll find it. Uh, a couple eye decals. I went with the one that match more the current windows. Uh, the thing is that with the eye decal, you, you lose the light piping. So, and then you have the red version here. And then I have a couple extras. Um, well, those are uh, headlights. Uh, this is a pin that goes right here. And uh, I don't remember where, oh the leg here on this sheet here what we have left is uh the window uh, decal for the chest uh, i went with the more cartoon accurate one and then you have this it goes on top of the cab and it's kind of hard to apply but i did it in one shot i hope i'm you know i did okay uh, a lot of these little covers here that's for uh the uh, inside well the outside of the uh, missile pod uh, option for the shin so you use quite a lot I mean some set like the Earthrise clip jumper you have like three sets of everything and you only use a third of it um, this was a more uh, complete set all right so I'm gonna take off the weapons well actually you know what let's show off the weapons first uh, you gotta be tricky with the sword there's a pin here you have to make sure when you pull it out that this pin is um, lined up with the hole in the hand so uh, you have one two three four decals and then you have just one on this side uh, it gives a good enhancement to the sword it's quite rare that toy hacks will do decals for weapons so. and then you have four uh, oh, on this side four decals all around the blade so give it a little bit of a shine looks good and man I don't know if I'll recall every uh, label I've applied it's it's quite extensive okay so first you have the eye decals uh, nothing for the rest of the face except the chrome faceplate and this was hard to apply because you have to get it like in between the uh, the, the the faceplate and the, the the guard on the side you have to stick a piece in there and you see here I don't know if it's on camera really good but there's a bit that's not properly applied like it, it have to find a way to press on that uh, the chest I went with the very cartoon accurate version uh, and then same thing for the shoulder uh, lift or whatever the shoulder pads um, this is how he's displayed in some animation model most of the time it's empty but I went with the one with the uh, that logo which I really don't know this logo it's not the G2 logo it's probably something unique to RID I guess I should have paid more attention. Uh, you have uh, decals. Okay, so this was a pain. Uh, these small ones here, all around. Uh, very, there's, you know, uh, 24 of them. And uh, they're all different shapes. So you have to make sure that you line up each one properly. And then there's one right in the middle. Looks really good. And then underneath, you have missile pods uh, enhancement so that looks really good 
You have a little kind of pin cover here. It's a red light uh, on each side crotch enhancement. Uh, you have the uh, tie decal. And then you have a little blue enhancement right here. Uh, the knee, you have this uh, decals on both sides. And then that little white spot or silver spot on the shin and then underneath you have two decals uh, some extra missiles uh, and this one this thing here not sure what that is but it looks good i mean it changes the figure because he used to have the translucent windows uh, so that's a really good enhancement honestly oh you have a little arm decal here and here oh knock the camera over so this and this looks good and then the pin covers I did find here and the opposite here and there was one more can't recall anyway if I find it I'll show you sorry but there's not many pins there's a lot of screws though uh, here you know and you can't really put a decal on a screw because it doesn't blend in properly so Maybe that's what it's used for, who knows. So there you go, final look at Velocitron Speedia 500 collection, Robots in Disguise Scourge. Wow, mouthful. And now, let's take a look at the, the base mode. Decepticons, switch to maximum firepower. And here's a quick look at the base mode. Not much to it. I mean, you have the claw here, uh, the platform, the guns, and then the whole interior with the ramp. Who doesn't really want to stay down completely. Uh, but uh, let's see what Toy Hacks does for that. Scourge, transform! This is where you see how many decals there is on this thing. Sure, the first thing you'll notice are all the computer screens. So basically you have, uh, I think that's Skybyte. Eh, it looks like Skybyte, you have some data. Then here's something that, I don't know, kind of looks maybe, I want to say Unicron, but can't guarantee it. And then you have, what's there? And the way this is done, it's really hard to show you from this angle anyway there's decals uh, you have uh, a robot here and then more data and then you have something here it's hard to show because of the way of the setup and the way that the whole base system is done uh, but then on the inside you have this steel plate here and then you have all of the chrome edition on the inside and that that took a while just to make sure everything was lined up properly it's not easy but it was fun so that's about it for the base mode yeah so there you go i'm gonna put it back here so final look at the base mode i gotta get out of here he's getting away no he's not so here's scourge in truck mode and he looks really good as is can't complain with that uh out mode that's really good i mean you could complain a little bit um, if you want because the hands are just kind of sitting in the back. You know, they're not... They, they do have like little clips here uh, that are part of the knee joint. Well, not joint, but the knee the knee folds out. And then it's... Uh, but it's not super stable. But everything else is really solid. Can't complain. I love the... I love the look of this truck and i'm hoping toy hacks will make him look even better so you know I'll, i uh, i'm gonna pick the uh, same colored but not uh, transparent uh, for the windows and that's gonna look amazing and the trailer is gonna get all shined up uh, so that's something to look forward to hopefully and also the gun will probably get something we'll see we'll see so let's put them back together Final look at Scourge before he goes into the paint shop. And here we are in completed truck mode. And this is where the set really shines. And shine is the proper term because of all that chrome. 
take a closer look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten decals. Just to get, well, actually ten on each side, so that's twenty. Just to get that chrome look, and it's fantastic. Uh, I'm noticing there's a bit of smudge from, I don't know, my fingers, I guess. Uh, but once you clean it up, it looks really, really good. And it, it goes in details around all the molded details like this and all those, I don't know if you can see them, but all on those lines, there's little indentures on the side. So that's, and they molded all around that. So that's pretty cool. And it fits really well. I thought it was going to be harder to apply than this. This part was a lot easier than the outside, uh, the inside, sorry. On top, you have all the steel plates and those two little decals. Nothing for the tank top or the guns. I, I would have liked a little something. And then you have underneath the decals I showed in base mode. And that's pretty much it. Oh, no. You have the three tail lights and the license plate scourge with three steel plates. So that looks pretty good. And then in front, you have this option. Uh, the other option were the logos I showed earlier. Uh, these one here, where you can put a Decepticon or a proper G2 logo. Or I hope I'm not making an ass of myself and maybe that's not a G2 logo, but this looks like it. And then you have some extra small decals. I think it's if you want a smaller one um, to replace these, it's a possibility, but eh, whatever. So this trailer looks really good. And I'm going to set it aside, taking a look at the cab. Now this is pretty good. I, I really like what they did. Those small enhancements here, you have the new door logo uh, with uh, uh, the same one that we had on the shoulders and the trailer. A uh, little bit of tail lights. I would have wanted something on the fuel tanks. It would have been interesting, but there's nothing. Uh, you have on top here all of this, uh, which I lined up. Um, see, there's a little mark here, so maybe I'll have to go back and use one of the replacements because that's uh, it's a nice feature, and uh, but it's it's kind of hard to apply. But the windows they look really good. You only have one option for the windows, but it's absolutely worth it love it and then in the front you have uh, a new grill you have the scourge license plate you also have the option for black convoy and nemesis um, i already have a nemesis prime so i'm not gonna add this to i think scourge you know it's that to me that's this character and then you have the two sets of lights so a you know, it's 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 not much, not many decals, but it's absolutely worth it. Fantastic set. So I'm gonna leave this with my final thoughts, saying that this decal set is worth the price. And you have, to, I have to know that the Earthrise Transformer, uh, uh, Earthrise Optimus Prime, uh, the decal came with the uh, the trailer stickers, and I think it was twenty two or twenty five dollars. And then this one here was another 20, uh, maybe 25, uh, and it came with the trailer. The only one that doesn't do that is Nemesis Prime. You have to buy the cab and the trailer separately, and it's a little more money. So I wish they would have done something, you know, all together. I guess in the end, it doesn't matter. If you get both, you get both. If you want one, you just pick one. But now that I done Scourge, I just might have to go and do Nemesis Prime now. Yeah, probably gonna order that. So there you go, guys. That's my review of the Toy Hacks decal set for... Um, I'm not gonna say his full name, but The Scourge from Legacy. And it's a fantastic set for a fantastic figure. The more I play with it, the more I love it. I adore this transformation. I think it's so nice. Oh, and I just forgot. There's a little decal here that says Western Star. So there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I also noticed something else. Steps. There's decals for the steps. Man, I'm I'm bad today. You know, three. Well, these are three decals for one step. Now you have one and another here. Looks really good. Did I forget anything else? 
I think I'm good now. Sorry. If you want a perfect review, go check PPR's channel. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.